Welcome to this week on Great Lakes Golf Today. It's part of our incredible Great Lakes Golf Today tour of 2022. Mike Jamison with you, and uh, we're out here at the beautiful Riverby Hills Golf Club. And I'll tell you what, Kerry Long and his gang have just done a wonderful job. It was just such a pleasure getting the drone out there and flying and seeing this beautiful, beautiful course. Can't wait to get out here and play it and chunk it up for a little while. I'm going to have to like buy three different tee times because I don't want anybody around me when I'm up there. But it's going to be a fun-filled half hour. Our, uh, spotlight in this course we'll show you we're gonna show you some of the longer holes so what you need to do to uh, kind of make bank when you're out here playing so enjoy the show and Carrie will be with me in just a second it's gonna be a great one Riverby Hills and I guarantee you're gonna love it Once again, welcome to Great Lakes Golf today and uh, some of the beautiful courses in Northwest Ohio, Southeastern Michigan, and Mr. Kerry Long. Dishwasher? Yep. Is that what it is? Dishwasher. Just. I got him out in the heat right now, but <laughs> Kerry's one of the guys, you're out in the heat a lot because yep. you are hands on with all of your courses that you have. Right. We like to help the superintendents out the best we can. I mean, they don't need much help. The guys are very hard workers. We got Marty Gaster here and Eric Sauber out at Eagles Landing. The guys do a great job and they've got both these courses in great shape. Not to mention, Eric did a wonderful job at Eagles Landing for yes. us. He, he did a phenomenal job on camera with us here. And I just got to say right out of the gate, this course absolutely looks beautiful. It's in great shape. We've been getting a tons of compliments this year. The greens are excellent. The fairways are great and even the rough. It, it was thick in the spring, but the guy, we've got two rough mowers that we stay on it pretty good. That's the new thing. You're one yeah. of the only people in this area that's got those. Yeah, they're new mower that Eric Sauber brought it to our attention and uh, me and Marty went out to Eagles and we tested it over there. And then they brought one out here for us to test in the fall. We wanted to see how it went around the tees, the banks, and mm -hmm. mow them supposedly without scalping. And it does a great job. It mows the rough even. And with having two mowers out there, as much as you know, people were complaining about the rough yep. and it being That's high this thing. spring, yep. but we were mowing it twice a week. Oh. Oh my goodness, <laughs> goodness. Well, everything does. It looks beautiful. The, I mean, your, your greens, the undulation in your greens, it's just, I love saying that word, by the <laughs> way. It's just, they, they're all over, but they're, they run very true. And you've got a lot of hills and valleys here, that's for sure, yes. especially in the back nine. Huh? On the back nine, yeah, the front mm -hmm. nine's kind of flat. Well, there's a hill on one and, and five, but the rest of it's flat. And then right on the back nine, we got a big hill. Well, you've been Number really 10. lucky when we, when we were out there flying the drone. Um, you, you didn't get a lot of tree damage with uh, the big storms no. and everything we've had. You you really lucked out with that. Yeah, we, we'd had a little bit, but not too much. Also, this year we rented a lift and we spent a couple weeks trimming trees. Clean, clean so we out. cleaned Smart. up a lot of the bad stuff, and we're gonna do we're gonna do that again. I think we're gonna start doing that every year. Good now. idea. I, I got to tell you too, your sand traps, they look incredible, impeccable, real, it's like you don't want to be in the sand, but you know what, I could hit out of that. Yeah, yeah it's good sand, we spend a lot of money on that sand, we get it out of Cleveland from the best sand company. Oh, there it's you go. Called. We have it hauled over here and yeah, we got good sand here and at Eagles Landing also, it's the same sand. Well, you do have other courses. I know you got a course down in Columbus. Hopefully one of these days you'll send me down there and I'll do a show about that. Well, but that's another one of them beautiful courses. You got them all set up around here. Well, you're going to have to go there quick because that's to be sold on Monday. Oh, so. <laughs> see how I am? So. <laughs> see, I, I always learn you you heard it last right yeah. here, right? Is that? Well, uh, certainly just a wonderful area. Did our radio show here on Saturday morning, had a wonderful time. You've got full facilities here for people that want to come in. And, uh, you know, if you, I know you have a ton of scrambles out here. Yeah, we have quite a few outings. We got a great setup here for outings. We have a separate building. That way when the outings gets done, everybody can, they can be together and be away from open play. And people can be coming in and checking in and not, you know, interfere with the outing or. 
do you do your own food then too? We or used do to. You? We're not cooking at this time because of COVID. Caterers, we yeah. stopped um, cooking and we let people do their own thing. Some people use our grill, bring in their own food and cook. Sure. And we'll help them. We'll help them, you know. Hot dogs cook. are great here. I can yeah. tell you that. I love yeah. your hot dogs. They're good stuff. Um, with uh, everything that's going on, like you were saying with COVID and all, um, what what are some of the things you guys are looking forward to for next season? And, uh, you know, and hard to tell. We're hopefully we're looking forward to lower gas prices. Yeah, <laughs> right that's now that's be tough. Making, you know, we buy 22,000 gallons of gas a year. Oh. So do the math. And then oh. that it also affects fer fertilizer prices and sure. everything else. So hopefully that'll get back to normal. And um, who knows what, you know, with, this is our trying times, you know, it's day right. by day. We like to open up and be cooking in the chalet, but sure. you know, it's tough to staff. We, it's hard to get people to work. Restaurants can't get themselves staffed. Exactly. So for us to staff to just serve for outings, it makes it kind of tough. And people are, you know, they like doing their own food and a lot yeah. of outings are nonprofits, so they can save a little bit of money. They can get someone to donate it or right. they do it themselves. If they do it themselves. They don't mind eating off paper plates. You know, we do it. We want to serve it on a real yeah. Make plate. It look good. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, you do a wonderful job out here, and uh, so excited to go out in the chorus, and we're kind of cutting this interview short because we actually wound up doing, I had to do hole number 17. Yeah. I had to, it wasn't part of the plan, but I had to do that, and we're going to showcase uh, some yeah. of the great holes on this course out here in, at Riverby, and this is Waterville, right? Yes, we're, well, actually, our address is Bowling Green. Okay. It's the actual Bowling Green address, but we are right across the river from Waterville, 1.3 miles from the bridge. It's a beautiful truck out here, and you got to come out and hit this golf course. Riverby Hills, and we'll be right back. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. As your roof past its peak, it's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted a BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. There is only one place where you'll find scenic golf at affordable prices. Fallen Timbers Fairways. This golf course offers some of the best golf in Northwest Ohio for any skill level. At Fallen Timbers, they can help you plan for your next outing or event, or even improve your skills with their talented golf instructors. With their exceptional rates, Fallen Timbers is your first choice for great golf. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Easy to find, fun to play, right off Route 24 in Waterville. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Fallen Timbers Fairways. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow, where we treat your yard as our own. Lawn care, landscape construction, landscape maintenance, hydro seating, snow and ice management, residential and commercial, licensed, insured, trusted. Contact us today, 567 218 1915. 567 218 1915. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow. Gear Up Sportswear tour quality golf clothing at an affordable price. Gear Up Sportswear utilizes a special process to keep you cool on the hottest days and is sun and fade resistant. All Gear Up shirts are extended two inches in length and will never shrink. Custom artwork is also available for businesses, sports teams, or any occasion. To order the most comfortable golf shirt you will ever own, contact GearUpSportswear.com. Gear Up Sportswear, tour quality golf clothing at an affordable price. And welcome back to Great Lakes Golf today here with Kerry Long. You know, we affectionately call you Sergeant Hulk up. Yeah. That's good of your haircut. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Kyle, I, Kyle kept saying, you can't call me that because he doesn't have any hair. Yeah. You know, and he's doing a wonderful job out there. Yes, he is. Too, so you guys are doing great. Going to head out on hole number three to start it off. A little bit of a, you got a lot of dog legs here. And uh, yep. take advantage of some stuff and beautiful trees on this one. 
Yeah, number three is a short dog leg left, and there's two bunkers on the left side of the fairway, kind of protect it. People that try to, you know, go for it, take the straight sure. straight line there. But it's a short hole. Um, you good drive. It's easy to be about a hundred yards from the green. The green is kind of built up a little bit, and it's got two tiers to it. And you got to watch for the trees because you can get yourself inlaid behind a tree or something on this hole and you're going to lose a stroke somewhere in there trying to get there. But it is, if you can, I, like I tell everybody, hit a five wood, just hit it 220, five wood, and you're in good shape on this hole. Right. Yep, there you go. Well, hole number six, we get into some of these grip and rip holes, and we're doing a lot of them today where, you know, showing the length of what you have here at Riverby. And, you, you want to really just make sure you stripe this one right down the middle no matter what you're going to do. Yeah, six is a tough hole. It's long. Also, you got out of bounds on the right hand yep. side. So it tends people try to block that out and end up pulling, getting left of the fairway, getting into the trees there, which makes it longer. And the one thing that happens when you get into your part fives like this is you, you don't have many that have flat greens either. No. <laughs> So you got to really work. You got to work on that undulation, and always want to be below the hole. Right. That's a good. On number six, it's kind of tough too. For some reason, the ball really bounces out here uh -huh. on hole number six in the front of the green. I tell people to take you know one club less, and just the, the ball for some reason on that hole it just really bounces. Whew. I'll tell you, you're just getting into the green, and that's where I lose all my strokes when I hit the green. And uh, this is just one of those. This is definitely a tester. Hole number eight is another one of the par fives here. It's got a little dog leg to it, but uh, uh, once again, uh, your strength will be how accurate you are with your tee shot. Yeah, it's a slight dog leg to the right. It's also protected on the right hand side with the bunker there to keep people from kind of cutting the corner. It is the shortest one on the course. It's probably the easiest one to par. Can you rubbered. make the turn then if you're a 260, 270 hitter? Yeah, a guy can get over the bunker. Okay, okay. If he really hits it but you've got the bunker there. And right. I, I would zero in on that bunker, there's no doubt in my mind. And you, you just want to make sure your strength being to get it out there. And actually, if you're on the left side of the uh, fairway, that gives you an even night. It's a little longer, but it's a nicer shot in. Right, and it's number eight has a very big green too, so you can you know try to go for it and get there in two. Finishing up on the front nine, uh, hole number nine. And it, it's a beautiful hole. It's kind of a longer uh, par four. But uh, you know, if you're smart, right? Yes, it's it's a tough par four. It's a it's it is very long. It's got a small green, and you can't roll the ball up to the green. I mean, you can, but there's it kind of dips down, and you gotta you get know, in trouble. Right? There's a pond there that'll funnel the ball to the left of the green if you don't hit a good shot. But it's tough to get there too. I know that once you get to the green, is this this one's got a little more undulation in it? Yeah, it slopes quite a bit from front to back. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'll, hopefully if I'm laying two on this green, I'll think about that when I'm playing here in a week or so. Hi, this is Dan Sutton here at Heather Downs Country Club for this week's Great Lakes Golf Today Tip of the Week. We are in the fairway. We are in the rough. Fine line between one and the other here. But I want to talk today about hitting some shots out of the rough. Don't complain about the U.S. Open rough. Hope everybody enjoyed the U.S. Open here. but. You're going to hit the ball in the rough from time to time here. You don't want to hit the ball in the rough, get your ball in the fairway. So we got the good lie. Here is a bad lie. Not too bad, not too good, but then here is the ugly one. When you're hitting the ball out of the rough, you got to do a couple things for me. Number one, see way too many people hit the ball fat. Get that ball back in your stance on these uh, shots out of the rough, okay? You need Popeye forearms and you got to keep that left wrist here. I see a lot of people break down, try to get handsy out of it. The grass is going to grab your club. Can't allow that to happen. Put that ball back in your stance. You want to take that club up nice and vertical. Drop that club right on the back of the ball. So very important for you. So out of a bad lie, make sure you're taking that club up nice and steep. We want to drop that club right onto the back of the ball here. Keep those knees bent, hit down and through with it. Sometimes it's a guessing game how this ball is going to come out of the rough. Keep those Popeye forearms going, keep that left wrist going, take that club up vertical, drop it right down on the club, right down on the ball. Not bad. Yep. 
Now for the ugly one here. Ball's way down. I'm going to move that ball back here. I might take an extra club. This ball is not going to come out very clean. Is this going to be a little chunk and run, chasing it up there? Take that club up vertical. Drop that club right on the back of the ball. Here we go. But by having that ball back in my stance, it allows me to make good solid contact. Too many people just hit that ball fat coming out of the rough here. Give it a shot here. Work on these shots out of the rough here. Get the ball back. Take that club up here. Popeye forearms. Chase that sucker right out of there. This is Dan Sutton for this week's Great Lakes Golf Today. Tip of the week. Till next week, hit them straight. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Hey golfers, come play Toledo's premier public course, Heather Downs Country Club, is where you belong in 2022. Heather Downs is a beautiful 18-hole layout with stunning views and ideal conditions. Tee times available every day with great rates. Our driving range and practice center will help you groove your swing or try individual lessons with PGA Director of Golf, Dan Sutton. Adult ladies and junior clinics are now forming. Go to heatherdowns.com or call 419-385-0248. Heather Downs Country Club, where you belong in 2022. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244-LEAK-SEAGATE. Once again, welcome back to Great Lakes Golf Today, spotlighting beautiful courses. You know, I've been doing this 30 years now. Can you believe that? Time flies. <laughs> yes, yes. You've been a part of it for many years, and we appreciate all that you guys have done for us, and hopefully we can get some new golfers to come out here and play the game. You've got a great area to go out and practice and uh, learn a lot about the game, and I'm sure you've got a ton of people out here that want to, uh, that can help people with their golf lessons. We, yeah, we have a lot of, quite a few people that are giving lessons out here. Dan and Maria Conley are currently giving lessons here fantastic well we're gonna go off on the uh, on the back nine and uh, here here we go this is where it gets hilly and uh, hole number 10 is a uh, is quite the hole to start off with yeah that's a tough hole you make the turn and it definitely gets harder out here mm -hmm. you got a long carry to get to the top of the hill or to clear the valley and then it's a uh, uh, dog leg left and you still got quite a bit of waste and then you got the water right there too 
right? Is there water no. on this one? No. Oh, that's not, the, I know one. Yeah. That's the, that's on 12 then, yep. right? Okay. So, well, you don't have to worry about water on this, folks. But no. it is. It's a big, long hit to get it out there. Right. Well, hole number 12, you know, we look at this, and I'm looking at the numbers right now, you know, only from the blacks, 379, 369 from the blues. But, my goodness gracious, I mean, it's still, yeah, you really have to place your golf shot. It's a tough hole. It's it's short, but it's a big dog leg left. When you tee off, you got to get over a valley and possibly water, depending on what direction you go. And then once you land it, you got to go clear water again, too, to a small green that's surrounded by three sand traps. Yeah, that's it is just such a beautiful hole. But it, it's breathtaking, but it you know it chokes me when I think about what club I'm going to have to hit there just to keep it on the green. Right. Hole number 15 is, boy, I'll tell you what, if, if you're one of them 280, 290 kind of guys, you could you could actually get in trouble on this hole, couldn't you? Yes, it's a very tough hole. It's probably one of the toughest par fours in the area. Oh, I and agree. Very long, and then you want to be on the left side of the fairway because the, the dog leg to the right, right up 100 yards from the green. and. Uh, your second shot in is a blind shot. You can't see the green. You right. have a sign out there that you kind of aim for. Mm -hmm. And it's and it, you're going downhill. How much? How how far do you go down on that hole? I'm not sure. Probably 30 foot. From 30 feet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the green's tiny. Yeah, it's and very it's small all... and it slopes quite a bit. Oh yeah. It's, you know, it is on the kind of on, on the hillside there, and then it's, there's water, a stream that runs by. So everything breaks towards the water. More than likely the first hole to hear cuss words coming out of me. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't going to do hole 17, but it's my favorite hole here. Uh -huh. It is the most discombobulated hole. It, it, it's just a very tough hole uh -huh. and it's all in your mind. Is it right? There's all kinds of trouble. <laughs> oh, all kinds of trouble on this hole, and and it's par four, correct? Correct. Yep. And so you 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 basically, if you take this out to the right and you've got a little uh, you know a little slice to you, you can get in a lot of trouble on this. Mm -hmm. And then you're going uphill the whole rest of the way. Right. Yeah, it's tough. You got a creek that runs all the way along the right side, and it cuts across at about around 200 yards. It cuts across and then goes up the left side. And then oh, from yeah. that point, from 150 yards on into the green, it's uphill, and there's also a sand trap in the middle of, of the fairway. Of course there is. Yes. Of course there is. Thanks for that, uh, Gary. I appreciate that. I love this hole, though, and I, I shot it real super low, and I wanted to get some real neat shots with this, but very tough hole. Beautiful hole. Though. Longest hole on the course. This is a monster to finish off with, and a par 5, hole number 18. Yes, 18, it's um, straight, but it's very long. You got trouble on the left-hand side. You, on your drive, you could get, go all over the hill where it's mm -hmm. some of that area is unmowed. It's the roughest, it's very thick. Also, there's a bunker at about 165 yards out, a grass bunker. And, and this is what I, I always say, that you want to probably set this up as a three-shot hole or going in. Yeah, you got to hit the ball pretty far if you're going to get there, yeah, too. Yeah, Some guys can do it, but not very many. It kind of goes off to the left then, right? Yeah, Just a, little a little bit. Yeah, too, right very at the end. slight. Yep, yep. Well, the one thing I like about this hole is you shouldn't lose your ball. It's not a ball losing hole. Am I wrong? Uh, you could if you, uh, get, if you go left. If you, you go you left off your trouble. tee shot. Okay. Yeah. All right, I see how that is. But it is a beautiful finishing hole at Riverview Hills. Components Plus has been supplying quality golf club components to club builders across the U.S. and Canada since 1989. Located in Southeast Michigan, adjacent to the Legacy by Arthur Hills Golf Course and Claire Batista's Golf Academy. Now our showroom is open year-round with demo clubs, features, and our newest products available for the customer to try before you buy. Let Components Plus help with your own club building ideas. Attention golfers, Crooked Creek Golf Course, your hometown golf course, wants you to know they've got great things going on right now. You may want to write this down. June is Father's Day month. In celebration of Father's Day, for every 18 holes you play from May 30th until June 27th, 
You'll be entered to win a $100 Crooked Creek golf card and a $50 gas card every week until June 27th. Then on June 27th, they'll pick a grand prize winner who will win a $250 gift card to Crooked Creek and a $100 gas card. The more you play, the more chances you've got to win. Some rules and restrictions apply. And while you're there, make sure you try Crooked Creek Signature Drinks. Ask for the Heather Special, the Lost Ball, and the popular Crooked Creek Lemonade. And nothing goes better with golf than a premium cigar from their amazing clubhouse walk-in humidor. Check them out now at GolfCrookedCreek.com. Exit number 5 off 23 in Ottawa Lake, Michigan. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genau Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genau Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genau Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genau Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Pro Golf Fairways at Cameo Pizza and Resets in Rossford and Monroe Street right next to Nick and Jimmy with top of the line golf simulators, duck pin bowling, and the best food for your night out. We've got you covered. It's Pro Golf Fairways with all the greatest golf courses in the area. Why not come out and hit a few with us at Pro Golf Fairways at Cameo Pizza and Resets in Rossford and Monroe Street next to Nick and Jimmy. Hidden away in the heart of Ann Arbor, you'll find the area's best kept secret, Stonebridge Golf Club, a public 18-hole golf experience that will exceed your expectations. Explore the championship layout designed by world-famous golf architect Arthur Hills. With five distinctive sets of tees, Stonebridge promises to challenge players of every skill level. Fine-tune all aspects of your golf game at our practice facility equipped with everything you need to take your game to the next level, including an on-site PGA Pro. Stonebridge Golf Club, a premier public course without the drive. Okay, I promised you 2.30, it's 2.35 for us to get this done. But I do thank you so much, and I really appreciate you believing in what we've done all these years. And, uh, you know, we affectionately call you Sergeant Holka, but uh, you're a great guy, and you've done so much good for golf here in Northwest Ohio. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out. I, I It's so hard to get him on camera, and I consider myself the luckiest yes, man, 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 man on this earth when I can get him to be on camera here. But River B is just you're having so far a wonderful year and the pace of play is very good here yeah. telephone numbers for people that would be interested in some tea times 419-878-5941 fantastic and obviously uh you want to call in for a tea time uh, are you part of the computer things with we got a computer but we don't book tea times online okay okay very good very good but uh you can come out here and uh i would say come out here and play nine Play the back nine, enjoy yourself, and uh, if, if you can't get a full uh, a full 18 holes in, and they've got some great deals, and it, it is just such a beautiful course, and uh, and it's part of our Great Lakes Golf Tour this year. I love it. And you get, you're working. He's yeah. got to work. And folks, I want to say to you, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll have more great courses. Don't forget about our radio show Saturday mornings on 100.7, 8 to 10 a.m. We have a lot of fun with that. We call it the uh, sports show that sucks. But, you know, we have fun. 30 <laughs> years we've been doing that, too. Unbelievable. They let us do this, you know. Thank you. And I'm glad we got some beautiful footage of this course. And, folks, we'll see you next week right here on Great Lakes Golf Today. Yeah.